Gaming gift cards are like crypto, and not in a good way and game tokens, like V-Bucks on Fortnite, face UX problems like many Web3 platforms. Is there a role in open, shared trust layer for gaming payments? By Galen Moore Jan 19, 2024 at 8.02 p.m. UK updated Jan 19, 2024 at 8.08 p.m. UK B. Galen Moore Jan 19, 2024 at 8.02 p.m. UK updated Jan 19, 2024 at 8.08 p.m. UK B. Galen Moore Jan 19, 2024 at 8.02 p.m. UK updated Jan 19, 2024 at 8.08 p.m. Utes in crypto especially in the category of blockchain interoperability, we think a lot about fragmented currencies, ETH providing security across multiple layer 2s, USDC in multiple, non-fungible wrapped versions, ABQUSDK, ZIZUSDK. So-called real-world assets also experience similar fragmentation, a dollar in your pocket is not the same as a dollar in the bank. Take gift cards. You're probably holding a few after the holidays and if you are, you're not alone. A bank rate survey earlier this year estimated $23 billion is sitting in unused gift cards across the U.S. That's about 0.1% of the M2 money supply dots dripping away the colorful plastic packaging. Gift cards are a number, some 16 to 30 digits in length, that provides access to a digital equivalent of cash. They're somewhere between cryptocurrency and a debit card, not as secure or uncensorable as Bitcoin or Ether. But you don't need a bank account to use them and they can be bought and sold with minimal information exchange. This opens up some interesting wrinkles and follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.